hello good day guys welcome back to my channel so today we will discuss about the RHC concrete hollow blocks CHB load calculator tool so commonly uh, minamano lang na natin yan kasi yun, lang, yun naman talaga yung way para solve, sa pag solve uh, pero uh, commonly kasi yung CHB is nakapatong dun sa sa beam as you can see in the picture here ito pero ang mga unusual na situation like this wall na nakapatong doon mismo sa slab so walang beam na uh, pinapatungan so yun yun ang rian natin dito although in this uh, excel silob ko yung yung so yung CHB na nakapatong doon sa beam as well as yung mga CHB na nakapatong doon sa uh, slab mismo, i-convert natin yung CHB na yan into surface load. Okay? This spreadsheet is based on the NCP table 204-2, which is the minimum design loads in KPA. Okay? Uh, without further ado, let's continue to our discussion. As you can see, we have an input data. Okay. Input data. So we have T, T is HB, this is the thickness of the CHB. Then H is the height of the CHB. Then under balik mga tayo sa T. So sa T natin mayroon dun sa NCP mayroon tatlo yung 100 mm or 4 inches yung 150 or the 6 inches, then yung 200 or the 8 inches. Okay? Then, uh, let's say, mag, sige, mamaya muna tayo mag ano ng specific. I Explain ko muna yung mga option. Okay? Then, under sa height of the CHB, of course, yung ano natin yan, given. As you can see here, sa picture natin. Then, yung L natin is the total uh, length. For example, uh, yung wall natin is nakapaliko pa rito. Dito banda. Then, ganyan. So, kukunin natin yung perimeter. That is the total length. Then, of course, yung density ng uh, CHB natin. As for the NSCP, meron tatlong binigay doon. Yung 16.5, 19.16, 21.2 kN per cubic meter. Then, in terms sa grout naman, yung grouting natin, so, nandito yung option na binigay ni NCP, merong no grout, 800, 600, fu, uh, 400, and full. Okay? Then, sa plastering naman, uh, we have an option na mag-check or i-select natin yung no plaster. One side, the uh, face lang yung may plaster, then two sides. Okay? Then, yung S slab natin, is, that is the short span length. As you can see the figure, uh, yung mas maiksi is na dito. Then yung isla, uh, long span length naman ng slab natin is to. Okay. Let's have an example. Uh, as you can see in this figure. For example, yung thickness na gamitin natin is HB is 100mm lang kasi sa interior. Ito. Then yung height ng sheets B natin, let's say... Commonly kasi 3 meters para sa mga residential, 3 meters. Then, sabi natin yung beam, yung top beam na assign natin is naka 250 by 400. So, yung 2 meters na, 3 meters na yan minus sa 250, uh, 400 mm. So, that is 2.6. So, 3 minus 0.4. So, that is 2.6. So, that is 2.6 yung height natin. Then, yung L natin is the perimeter of the CHB. So, example natin ito. Yung uh, CHB na yun na mismo sa slab. So, let's say uh, 5 meters. Okay. Let's say 5 meters. So, 5 meters yung length. Then, pipili tayo rito na sa density ng wall. Commonly kasi, uh, pag mga residential, ito yung ginagamit ko. 16.5 yung pinakamaganda doon sa NSCP. 
Then, of course, naka-full grout tayo. Okay, then, yung plaster natin, two sides pa rin. Then, yung slab natin, yung short span length natin ng slab, let's say, sabihin natin to 0.5. Okay, then yung long span, let's say, sabihin natin 3, 3 meters. Then, as you can see in the output data, mara tayong uh, yung WCHB, which is the CHB pressure load. Ito yung sa CHB lang, 2.5 kPa. Then, ito naman yung sa plaster na 0.48 kPa. Then, ito yung total weight nila. That is 2.98 kPa, yung para sa CHB and plaster. Then, the volume of the CHB ito. So, then, as you can see in the volume, based yan sa sizing ng CHB. Kasi as you can see mamaya, mayroon dalawang meter yung ginawa ko. Ginamit. Then, ito naman yung weight ng equivalent point load. Yung unit weight times the volume. Of course, makuha natin yung point load. Then, the area, that is the floor area. So, the short span times the long span ng slab natin. Okay. Okay. As you can see, uh, mayroon tayong yun, mayroon tayong result dito. Yung CHB located at the beam. So, kung yung beam, uh, yung CHB na yan is located dito sa beam mismo, nakapatong sa beam, ito yung magiging equivalent uniform load niya. Yung 7.75. Okay? Then, uh, kasi yung computation naman natin is nasa slab. Ito yung gagamitin natin. Ito. Okay. So, yung dalawang method na yan, yung base sa density, ito na yan is hindi to kasama yung uh, plaster rito kasi base yun sa density. As you can see, uh, yung weight lang ng equivalent load. Oh, check natin na. Weight lang. Equivalent load. HB. Okay, yun. Base lang siya sa, ano, sa density ng CHB. So, wala siyang plaster. So, you can see, mas malit siya yung compare sa base sa pressure load. Yung pressure load naman natin, ito yun. So, uh, each height of the CHB times the length, then, uh, times the total weight and KPA. So, makukuha, then, makukuha natin yung point load. Then, i-divide natin dun sa surface area ng floor. So, kaya ito na kukuha natin. 5.17. So, ito na yung equivalent na surface, so, surface load ng CHB natin, which is i-apply natin sa slab. This is an additional uh, superimposed load. Okay. So, yun lang yung nagkadali. And by the way, uh, always check the result with your own calculation. Okay. So, say yun, yun lang guys, say in the next uh, tutorial natin. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share para umulad yung ano natin, channel. Keep safe always guys, Pag magpavaksin na kayo <laughs> para makapasok sa trabawin sa eskwilahan. Thank you and God bless.